Guys, we really have to start giving a little more credit to some of these containerized package formats like snaps, flat packs, app images, because honestly, these things are a great thing to have. They, they actually, in some cases, are necessary. In some cases, they really help you out in a bind. In some cases, they actually save your ass because you really need a program. And sometimes the native package format for that program on your Linux distribution is broken or buggy. It just doesn't work. And you have to go grab a snap or a flat pack or an app image. And I'll give you a great example. I've been struggling here in the last couple of weeks. I've been playing a lot with Discord here recently. And with Discord, the Linux packaging on Discord is just really bad. If you're trying to run Discord as a native application, like a native DIB or RPM or Arch package, whatever distribution you happen to be running, you probably notice that the Discord application needs updating like every few days, like every three days, that sucker needs an update. And on some distributions, that's a real problem, especially if it's a long-term release, stable kind of distribution. You know, you're not getting that kind of update. You know, it's not updating your Discord for you every three days. You got to go sometimes manually go grab a dead pack or whatever it happens to be and try to get Discord updated on that system. On Arch, Yes, the Arch guys do update the Discord package every few days, but even that is a pain in the ass on Arch because in many cases, I go about a week, sometimes two weeks without updating my Arch system. But because of Discord, because it's constantly out of date, I have to run an update like seriously like every other day on my Arch-based distributions here just because I have to have Discord. I use Discord pretty much every day and I have to have it up to date or it won't run and I've gotten so frustrated you guys have probably seen this on Linux where you go and you open Discord through your run launcher or your menu system and you get the little box Discord has an update and it asks you to go download the dev pack because I guess they put out an official dev pack. They assume everybody's using Debian or everybody's using a Debian based distribution like Ubuntu. But of course, you know, clicking that button on my Arch system doesn't do anything. Yeah, I can go download the dev pack. Okay. Big whoop de doo. What's that going to do for me? Right. So, you know, it, it's frustrating as hell. And I got so frustrated with it today. I went ahead and I did a quick search and I saw that Discord was actually packaged as a snap, a flat pack, and an app image. And uh, the Discord uh, flat pack, I did see the verified checkbox next to it. So it is actually a verified flat pack. So I went with that version. I could have installed, you know, the others as well. But I really wanted one of those three containerized formats because it, it kind of solves the problem of needing updates, especially snaps and flat packs, which um, by default, snaps and flat packs are auto updating. You never have to worry about updating them yourselves. They just update themselves on their own. You never have to touch them. And, you know, for most applications, a lot of people go, well, do you really need that? Isn't that kind of a waste? And you're right. For 99% of the applications on your computer, yeah, you don't necessarily need to have it. But when you encounter some of these crazy applications like Discord that need to update all the damn time, man, things like snaps and flat packs, they, they make so much sense. And I just don't understand all the people that are out there that really want to just shit on these package formats because when they work, they work beautifully. And, and again, they do solve a lot of problems, you know, and it's one of those things, you know, if these things didn't exist and we still had to deal with these headaches, is that a trade-off you want to accept? It's not a trade-off I want to accept. You know, I like having my life be a little easier, right? I don't like my life being harder. Anyway, just a, a little bit of me ranting about Discord and its packaging on Linux. I, I hope you guys, <laughs> hope you guys are having a great day. Peace.